Hello guys, it is The Lit Show, and this is a topic that we brought up, and if you guys, I'm guessing most people aren't an ROTC, but normally we just talk about things. And today we got on a subject that was interesting. Apparently, at some point earlier this year in the school, all the teachers got together with, like, some of the, you know, with the counselors and the principals and all this and that, and they had a conference, and it was like, well, last year we had, like, a good, like, 25% of each grade that, like, missed more than 15 days, 20 days last year. And they're wanting to know what that is, and pretty much what a lot of the teachers said is, oh, well, these kids just don't give a damn. Or their, pa and their parents don't aren't going to enforce anything. No one in their family gives a damn, and they don't give a damn. Well, the uh, major in ROTC, he had an interesting approach to it. You know, this is something they normally don't do in school. He said, well, I figured I'd ask all of you guys why you guys think it is that kids aren't coming to school. And I'll bring that back to Mr. Jennings, which is our head guy at school, whatever. I don't think he's a principal. I've never been, like, heard of anyone going to him for disciplinary. But anyway, um... I'll take it to him. And so we're talking about it. And other kids, of course, they say the normal shit that I'd expect them to say is, oh, well, their parents don't care. Drug heads make druggy kids, and druggy kids aren't going to come to school. Shit that you'd expect people to say. It's like, oh, well, they, they just want to go home and smoke weed all day. They want to do this. They want to hang out at the park. Yeah. Now, I had an interesting theory that I brought up. But the time in class kind of got cut short right about the time I was able to get mine in after everyone else said the thing that I expected they were going to say. I'm pretty tired right now, but I want to do this video anyway. The thing that I was th saying that made a lot of kids not want to come to school is I legit knew kids that didn't come to school because they dreaded social interaction so fucking much. Now, they say that apparently our generation has... I'm speaking like my generation as of like 15... I guess 15 would fit into mine. I, I will go 16. We'll say 16 up to like 25 is like horrible with anxiety and shit. And they just don't handle it. They don't handle pressure. Now these kids, I know kids that didn't, that just dreaded coming to school because they just, they didn't want any social interaction. They didn't want to be in crowds. They didn't want to eat lunch around people. They didn't want to be in class with 30 people. And they sure as shit didn't want to get called on or have to do any presentations. Now, kids would intentionally miss a few days of school about over a presentation so it would come up as a zero so they wouldn't have to come and they wouldn't have the teacher call on and be like, hey, well, you didn't do your presentation. Uh, are you going to do it? And they have to say no in front of the class. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to talk in front of the class. And that's just as bad, so, I know kids that didn't come to school because it made them nervous, and it's not just grades that make them nervous, it's being around all these people that make them nervous, they'd feel more comfortable, they said, I wish I could do my work online, I wish I was homeschooled, I wish I was this and that, my parents don't have time, I can't afford to get into an online school, because those things do get a little bit pricey, I can't switch over yet, I'm too far in the semester, it's too late for that now, I gotta deal with it, and all this shit, and it just ended up, it affects them, because they don't, they can't handle a real social environment, and I mean, people can say all the time, it's like, well, you know, you have to deal with that, that's life, you're gonna have to deal with people, well, you don't, that's the thing, um, that's definitely not gonna make a kid come out of his shell, like, if I was scared of heights, and someone pushed me off, of, and someone made me bungee jump, that'd probably make me more scared of heights, same, if I was scared of public speaking and someone made me go on a stage and give a speech and I choked, that would make me a lot more scared of public speaking because now I have an, if I didn't have an experience, bad experience of public speaking, now I have one and that's further influenced my fear. <laughs> it's further strengthened my fear is what I meant to say. So that's definitely not a good idea. If, some, if someone's scared of something, if they want to overcome it themselves, you let them do that. That's good. That means they're ready to try. If they're not ready to try, it's not a good idea. Like, if I was scared of thunderstorms or if someone else was scared of thunderstorms, it's not a good idea to tie them out back to a tree in a thunderstorm. Now, there's guys that have done that to break their fear of thunderstorms, and it works because they're ready to do it. Now, if you did that to someone who's not ready, they're probably going to piss themselves and pass out, stuff like that. They're going to scream. They're going to be horrified. I'm horrified of snakes. I really don't like heights. I can get over heights. Heights isn't bad. It makes me un uneasy, but I can do it. I can handle it. Cannot handle snakes. If someone 
were like, well, you're not going to be scared of snakes anymore and held me down and dropped a fucking snake on me, I'd pass out immediately. I'd throw up and pass out. That'd be my reaction. And it wouldn't make me any less scared of snakes. I'd probably be like a hundred times worse over the fear. And I already scream and run when I see them. I'm from Arkansas and there's fucking snakes everywhere here. And they're all poisonous. <laughs> so, And I hate them. Because I fit because they hide and the same the same part and they're hiding they say oh well snakes don't want to bite you we're getting off topic I'm scared of snakes throwing a snake on me isn't gonna make me any less scared so I mean a kid scared of public speaking isn't gonna make him any less scared to make him do that it's not gonna make him any less scared to make him be in a lunchroom it's not gonna make him any any more uneasy and the fact that these kids have to do that shit then it makes them not want to come to school pretty much back to the original fact um these kids. You know, you can eat in the library or whatever, but then you're going to be labeled. And who? no one really wants to get labeled. I mean, I don't really give a damn when I'm labeled because the majority of people I go to school with, I don't really care about. I don't really feel the need for a whole lot of social... What's the word? I don't feel the need for a whole lot of social acceptance. I have a few people I'm friends with. That's good enough for me. That's the reason I'm pretty comfortable with this YouTube channel. If anyone, you know, there's that one guy who messaged me and said I'm trash and he did, you know, this and that. I don't care. <laughs> If there's still three or four people watching my videos, if there's no one watching the videos, this is something I like doing, so I'll keep doing it. That's really all I have to say. That's food for thought. Whenever you think a kid doesn't come to school a lot because, oh, isn't that... Maybe that's the problem that we need to start addressing in schools is the fact that a lot of kids aren't built for this shit. I mean, like, I, I'll always say, like, oh, our generation's pussy. I mean... It is, and I mean, this is part of it, but I mean, I, I can't really dog on them. If this is what they're scared of, then me me being a dick about it isn't going to really make them any less scared. I mean, I can talk shit about it all I want. Like, oh, I can't fucking believe it. This back when, you know, kids were storming beaches and shit, and now they can't eat lunch, but that's the way it is, and I mean, we society can only move as fast as the slowest link, so we got to do something about it. If you got 25% of each grade not attending school and failing. And I mean, it's different if it's like one or two druggies that don't come to school, but it's 25% that aren't coming. 25% is an unacceptable fail or dropout rate. That is just to the point where it's not fucking okay. <sighs> so if you have any comments that you'd like to say ideas that you have on why you think other reasons kids aren't coming to school that's my theory is i think kids are honestly shy they're a lot more shy than they used to be they're more nervous that's the summing up they're shy and nervous and they don't want to be here because of that it makes them uncomfortable now you can give your opinion in the comments make sure to like if you have your opinion comment subscribe if you haven't already tell your friends and as always it's the lit show have a Beautiful evening, ladies. Yeah, something to add on real quick. The Lit Show is now officially on Twitter, so if anyone wants to go follow that, I'll put a link in the description. Don't really expect to get any followers, but why the hell not? I needed something else because I had one spot that was empty on my home screen, so why not fill it up with something... <laughs> like I said, it will be in the description.